Today I present to you the M40A1, Steel Beast's newest arrival. The M40A1, along with all other recoilless rifles, provides a simple and elegant solution to the problem of getting an anti-tank gun that is both light enough to be moved by infantry and yet powerful enough to be effective against the armor of its age. At the point of firing, it uses the gases it uses to propel a projectile to also counter the force of its recoil by venting through the breech of the gun. While it makes for a very noticeable firing signature, it does avoid the need for heavy carriage to dampen the recoil produced by firing the gun. The M40 is an American design that has been widely exported. As with most things, successful designs lead to others copying it. The result being that it and its copies have been used in various conflicts throughout the world since the mid-1950s. Including such conflicts as the Iran-Iraq War, the Vietnam War, and in more modern conflicts. The M40A1 and Steel Beasts can be mounted on two different vehicles, a Technical and the M113A1. Sadly, it is not something that can be used dismounted by infantry. The M40A1 does things somewhat differently than other weapon systems in Steel Beasts. Firstly, there is the method of range estimation. The M40 uses a Spartan rifle that fires a ballistically matched projectile. Where the Spartan rifle round goes, so does the RCL's projectile. The Spartan rifle can be switched to the MP, just like with the coax on other vehicles. Once the main gun is fired by the player, the player has to reload it. Unlike in the T-72, this process requires more than just hitting a key to initiate the reload sequence. To reload the gun, enter the breach view by hitting the F3 key. Left click the breech block handle, wait for the breech to open, and then left click the brass casing in the breech to extract it, and then once it is extracted, hit the V key to insert a new shell. Then left click the handle to close and lock the breech. Other keys that are of use are the O key, which provides an observation view for a wider field of view at the expense of lacking a sight, and the N key, which provides a toggle for zoom when in the observation view. To change elevation of the gun, use the up and down arrow keys. For the main gun, to change ammunition types, use the insert and delete keys. And that concludes the tutorial on the M40A1. Happy hunting!